it is not very complicated to compute that uh, the standard office worker would sit about 80,000 hours in a lifetime in an office. And of course, with computers and other electronic devices that we use these days, and then we go home and continue with the TV and other computer use, uh, there is really a dramatic shift in behavior uh, toward this, what I call motor passivity. It turns out that uh, prolonged sitting in the office, for example, is associated with uh, uh, various uh, negative physiological effects. And uh, some of these are uh, linked to increase of inflammatory markers, uh, weight, uh, insulin function, insulin resistance, blood, blood lipids, which are associated with heart disease, and many others. There are studies now that uh, conclusively show that even if you go to the gym for 40 minutes, but if you sit for seven hours, the 40 minutes exercise program that you very nicely perform and complete um, cannot outweigh, counteract the negative effects of sitting. What we conducted was related to the oxygen uptake measurement during standing and working and sitting in a chair and working and uh, sitting on a therapy ball, an exercise ball, and measuring the muscle activation uh, using electromyography and measuring the oxygen uptake um, through metabolic measurement. There is strong as, uh, evidence that uh, physical activity and this small amount of physical activity, which uh, could be summarized perhaps in the concept of active office, has a strong association with uh, cognitive function, the way we think, the way we remember, and the way we function in this environment. Small behavioral changes could be that uh, uh, what I practice myself is that I go for every 40 minutes or whenever I have a chance uh, for a small walk. I go one floor down and I come back one floor. We can make other small changes, well, uh, in, in the office environment, which is called the active office. And uh, for example, one, one uh, small uh, idea is to place your dustbin, the trash, trash bin, in the far end of the office. So you are forced to make just a few steps, even for, for uh, such small activity, every time. But I am uh, thinking about uh, policy changes at work and the national level also, where there would be areas designated in, in for example, in, the, in office buildings, where individuals could go to this uh, area and for a change of pace, walk on these office treadmills, log on and continue their work for the next 10, 15 minutes, three, four times a day. Ultimately, if you are able to adapt and change your behavior, such small changes accumulate to health benefits.